You want to exactly. know what's crazy is that had you drafted Patrick Mahomes, you that also... That wasn't the pick. Had you drafted Deshaun Watson... On the field. Would it have been different? Oh, my God. The domino effect had you guys drafted you, Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady might still be playing. I can already tell this is the lowest combined IQ pod we've ever had. Welcome back to another episode of Caps Off, presented by Better... Woo! Hey guys, we, we got, got HSP producer. Tycho. We hey, got producer Tycho on camera today. So for comps, Tycho's usually the one behind the camera, and now we're bringing we, him in front of the camera. Well, we actually it's like great. this morning. We, we were totally ready to have him on. Shows up today with a sweatshirt covered with fucking egg yolk it all over it. It was disgusting. Yeah, no, I did. And I I'm was like, all right, Tycho, you don't like you don't want to come on today. You're not coming on. If no, I got the, the egg hoodie. Kia hooked it up. Crazy. I got a new, I got a new sweatshirt, so I'm feeling good now. Nice and cozy. It's also 88 degrees outside, by the way. It's, it's also 22 degrees, degrees, in degrees in here. In here. Actually, it's 65 Close. degrees in here. That's exactly that's a good point. It's yeah. a, it feels a lot colder than 65. Well, guys, I'm not. It's like bright over here. I didn't so realize. The yeah, do, that's. Yeah. <laughs> The lights kind of make it. You so know. for those that don't know anything about Tycho, probably no one knows, but you probably seen him somewhere on TikTok. Because yeah, you, you, guys, you guys heard bets. the story when we came back about how he uh, hated you. Yeah, dogged hated you. us. Hated us. He well, I dogged, wasn't here he dogged yet. Dogged us. I wasn't here He's yet. Crazy. No, he dogged us. No, like when I, don't, I met him like a year and a half ago. You want to tell the story quickly again? Do you want to tell the story, Tycho? Yeah, I'll tell the story. Yeah. Uh, long story short, we were at the game that. Tomorrow, Tomorrow Hamlin, Hamlin died. died. Oh, sorry, did well, no, he, he did die. He did die. Came back to life. He yeah. Jesus. Did um, can we also insert the clip because it's me? We're gonna insert the clip of me making a bet with Pat on if he died on the field that day in the in the stadium. Okay, backwards. You're sending that for your editing notes. Yep. So, okay. <clears throat> that, was, uh, we, that, that was a handshake. Bet. We made it an actual handshake bet when Demar Hamlin was laying on the ground. Is he dead or not? Um, we oh my God. guys, if we posted it, I That's think it would have gotten at ten million views. Easily. Right. Um, anyway. That's crazy. <laughs> I'll bet you he's dead. Who's, did you say no, he was 20, dead? No, 20 bucks he's dead. 20 you bucks totally, he's dead. <laughs> you're totally the oh, one you that, that said DeMar Hamlin's dead, right? Because Pat would never be like, Jesus, no, Tycho. No, what happened was James was actually going to get food, and um, it was Pat and I. And That's it, super insensitive. Oh, so James was James went even... to go get food while someone was dying? He was he, Before the they... play would happen, dog. Oh, like, he was like, oh, oh. I thought he was dead. No, because I, I was at that game, too, and I was like, bro, there were, there were people that were like going to get a hot dog while he was <laughs> That's dead crazy. Oh, right, wait, okay. Okay. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Long story short, DeMar Hamlin uh, had the whole thing that happened on the middle field. We went to a uh, club nearby in downtown Cincinnati, and uh, we it. met one of our our executive or head of production. Head of production, David um, Tishelman. Oh, we say his name fully. We we okay. Tish. Anyway, sorry, Tish. Uh, Tish was at the thing. He, he introduced me to Jack. Uh, I may have had a couple Miller Lights. Sorry. <laughs> and um, and uh, when I first met Jack, he's like, oh, yeah, I started a podcast with some of my buddies. And like it sounded super casual. I didn't realize it was like what he was doing as his job. And yeah, and I pretended <laughs> like I was. And yeah, I, fuck you, podcaster. And, 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 I, and I pretended like I was some fucking big shot that had 100,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah. At the time, we had like 10,000 on freaking. Oh, he totally big time the fuck out yeah. of yeah. yeah. Maybe we had like 70,000 on IG. Oh, but I was, I, was like, I, was like, I was like, oh, like how many followers you guys have? And he's like 38. And I was like, oh, that's cool. 38,000. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, and I said it probably just like that, except I was drunk. So then no, I, you were drunk. So you're like, oh, that, that's cool. <laughs> oh, nice, man. I think <laughs> anyway, you said something like, oh, nice, you man. You want to know what's funny? You want to know what's funny? And now Tycho's producing caps off. So Exactly. Look at that. What a bitch. fucking bitch. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Love you. Proud of, proud of what we're going to do here. But in all, all seriousness. Tycho's the guy. Tycho's the yeah, you've probably Tycho's seen my, my you've probably dog. seen handshake bets. If you're listening, make sure to go check out handshake bets. Maybe. TikTok, I mean, they you bet might have, on anything. You might have seen a video of Tycho reacting to like some Alabama. I think it was an Alabama game at a at a bar. That was pretty fun. Did you see? You, you know that one? Yeah, you know that. You know that nah, one? you know I got the, ripped off that, a chair. No, no, not that. The one uh, at Regatta. Oh, during <laughs> March Madness. <laughs> well, no, you know, crazy. I think the video that everyone has seen because it was my first introduction to handshake bets which is you guys betting on the betting corner whatever the fuck that was called yeah and it was betting on the train that went left to right and yeah. that was the first that time one. i ever saw it and i i know there's I a lot of that. people that have probably seen that one so that one in the epcot one the epcot one yeah the epcot the epcot i got good. hammered at epcot. you got cut off. You, you got you got I kicked watched out actually, i watched that video last he got, night he got cut off at epcot i watched bro, that video like, last at night canada too <laughs> okay in my <laughs> defense once again we you had weren't even allowed to drink in Canada. and i wasn't allowed to drink at the bar we went to after either really yeah so the bar didn't let you guys. Mm, yeah <clears throat> you are kind of light all right let's talk football let's talk football sorry football. Right, you're a bears fan bears obviously fan. yeah um it's the cafeteria episode so where we play a lot of games i don't know if you've ever heard the story behind why we call it the cafeteria but there was a time when we were all in no you like it now shut the fuck up I hate it you like it I still when you were in know. elementary school and you'd sit in the cafeteria and you'd always just play games with your friends yeah. and fuck around and do hypotheticals and stupid shit that's what kind of this is we just had to play on words with the cafeteria it's very i was the kid that was sitting on the side playing on his phone keep going 
that kid? Yeah. Jeez, you suck. Guys, yeah, I'm a wow. nerd. Keep going. He is kind of a nerd. He likes... <laughs> I like editing. Any hoozle. Uh, we're going to do... A, we, we got a bunch of hypothetical scenarios today. I want to talk about Brock Purdy. Obviously, he's been in, getting dogged again on uh, social media. It was just Niners Twitter. We're bringing it up again to like feel something, I think. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, we got a few different things. Supporting class ratings. I got I got some interesting ones. And uh, let's, just, let's just enter the cafeteria. Cool, I'm in. Hypothetical scenarios. God, I, fuck it. I still it's, don't you, like you that can't name. Disagree, you can't tell me that I like that name. I don't. I did. I never like. I've never Hypothetical liked scenario. Cafeteria. Hypothetical scenario. I've just gotten. I've just gotten comfortable I, saying. I have one. Cafeteria. One? All right, you have a. Can I give one? Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is not healthy. Are the Jets going to make the playoffs this year? Like in week one, oh, he just, Aaron Rodgers went run off the. Aaron Rodgers is not ready. No. To play. How how many wins does this Jets team get without Aaron Rodgers? Who's Dude. the backup? Trevor. Oh, oh, oh. No, they got no, a backup. Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor. That's a playoff team. That's a playoff team. That's a wild card team. That's a team that could cause some noise in the AFC. That's a team. Actually, no, because the AFC is so loaded. They probably a, go like seven and ten. No, that's a Jets team that Six within 11. the last three weeks is going to be in the hunt and could easily make a wild card spot, but is not not going to end up making it. Yeah, because it's a team that goes like seven and ten because they they're the their fucking last two Jets. Because they're the fucking Jets. Yeah, they'll yeah. be like seven and eight going yeah. into the weeks seventeen. Yeah, and then they lose their final two. It's funny because I was looking at um, the supporting class ratings. And the difference between the Packers and the Jets, right? So Aaron Rodgers obviously went from the Packers to the Jets. Oh, the good point. The Jets never realized that. <laughs> the Jets were the worst fucking supporting class of class? any class. Cast. Cast. No, 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 support. It's literally supporting class is how it was described oh, on course. PFF. I don't know why. It's fucking supporting cast. Maybe spell I'm, cast correctly, people. Well, maybe I should recheck it, but I don't know. Maybe no, you're good. Right. It doesn't matter. It's just like Anywho, that just whatever. irrationally makes me angry. So that that's what I think the, the Jets do. reversible? Stop. Oh, my God. Sorry. Anyway, that's what I, think that was the Jets. A... That was, I got one for you, though, with the Bears. Okay. What if the Bears ended up drafting Patrick Mahomes and Mitch Trubisky went to the Chiefs? What ends up happening? What's What does the NFL look like right oh, now? Oh, if Mitch Trubisky goes to the Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. So let's, start with, let's start with the Bears. They let's start yeah, with the Bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's just a quarterback We've swap. talked about this before. You know how many I feel. Times, many times. Um, I think Patrick Mahomes has no Super Bowl rings. I think he has an MVP. I don't think that On we... On the Bears? Yeah. The I, don't, Bears. I don't think that... I think, he, I think he has enough raw talent. And I'm, I'm a Brady guy. I'm willing to admit, though, that Patrick Mahomes is probably going to, going to go down as the first or second best quarterback of all time. I'd say for I mean, if I think he's gonna go down as a goat. Well, yeah. like what I'm saying is like, no matter how bad your team is, you could probably get a team. Mitch Trubisky loved the Bears. Well, who was on that team? Who was, like, give me some skill. Who like, why am I blanking out? Who back was like, in the day, it was like, like head coach or OC? Had, uh, who's who's the number one guy back then? Number one, I don't know. Number one receiver. Uh, the, 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 um, I'll pull it up. You talk. Darnell Mooney was two. Oh shit! It was. It was. Um. Well, that's important. Fucking, Wait, I what's don't even his know name? Who he's playing with? Oh my god. Oh my god! What year was that? Jeez. I'm not even a Bears fan. It was like 2018, 19. No, it was I, all I'm thinking about is the 2024 Bears right now. I can't get out of Keenan Allen, Romo Dunze, and Caleb Williams. Who did they trade? Dude, they had like a good receiver. I know we did. So it was Mooney and fucking. It's not Brandon Marshall. I keep wanting to Alshon? say Alshon. No, it's too old. Alshon, oh, too, too old. Alshon, Brandon oh, Marshall. Oh, oh. A Rob? No, too early. Yeah, Alan Robinson. Al Robinson. Robinson. Al Robinson. There it was. Al Robinson when he was like actually. But good. like that By shows you how bad our supporting cast is. That it took me, me, a Bears fan who watched all every one of those games, um, to not be able to remember his name. But anyway. I so think if, Mahomes, that, if Mahomes is on the Bears, if he gets drafted by the Bears, well, does Mahomes kick he field goals? Right. Does he kick field goals for us? Because if no, he's no, not, you kicking, still have Cody Park. So then we're still not being the Eagles. No, but does he get you above the level that Mitch had you? At? I, I think we probably make the Super Bowl that year. I don't know if Mahomes wins the Super Bowl that year, but like I do think that Patrick Mahomes has enough skill to make a supporting cast that Mitch had. Who Mitch took a team twelve and four to the playoffs. I think Mahomes maybe gets us over the hump. Two way Super Bowl. I don't know if our defense was good. So my argument is Mitch on the Chiefs. Already has two Super Bowls. Mitch will have one I like Super that. Bowl. I, like I think that. Mitch at least has a Super Bowl. Because again, yeah. I think when it comes down to like my point to this is that Patrick Mahomes has enough yeah. raw talent, but the Three problem months. is if you're getting drafted within the top ten picks and you're a quarterback, you have enough raw talent. Now it's about where you're going, in my opinion, and what your cat supporting cast looks like. What your coordinators, your head coach looks like. What's the system that you're entering? I, and I don't I, think the system in Chicago would have been strong it was, enough. It was Matt for fucking Mahomes. Nagy. Yeah, I don't think. Well, Matt like, Nagy's there now in, well, in Kansas yeah, City. Yeah, now. But which before when the enemy, it was way better. Which is crazy that Matt Nagy can go run a competent offense in Kansas City. But like for years, we had an issue scoring 20 points. 15. Well, We'd be happy to score to two touchdowns. It's easy to run a competent offense when you have Patrick Mahomes. Okay, fair. To be fair. That's fair. But I actually, I like, I like so believe this. I think if uh, if Mitch Trubisky goes to the Chiefs instead of the Bears, they like flip flop those picks. Mitch Trubisky has a Super Bowl ring. 
Because Andy Reid, has he ever had a bad quarterback? Try to think of one quarterback Andy Reid's ever had. You can't. Even fucking Chad Henney was good when he played. Like Dolphin legend. Blaine, Blaine Gabbert was good when he came in from the like. It's weird shit like that. Like he's he's never been, had a bad quarterback. Travis Kelsey, Kareem Hunt. What pains Hill. me is I'm gonna watch Drake May now go to a really poor situation with the Patriots. UNC quarterback, I, I'd say he's the exact same guy as Mitch Trubisky coming out of college because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about either of them coming out of college. Well, that's the, Sam Howell to UNC. It's like all someone about these white guys from UNC just all feel the same. Right, they're all the yeah, same guy. I yeah. hope they all have the same. They all have a beard career. and like some spiked up yeah. hair. And I hope they all have a shitty career so that I can feel good about that. I, we didn't get the bad UNC quarterback. I need that for my mental psyche. So far, psyche. Mitch is better than Howell. Correct. Career wise. So, well, like if congrats. if Drake May goes and becomes Tom Brady, I'll be really. You want to know what's crazy is that had you drafted Patrick Mahomes, you that also wasn't the pick. It just wasn't. It no. was Deshaun Watson. It was no, it Mitch was Deshaun. Deshaun. It was Deshaun. Okay. Yeah. Had you drafted Deshaun Watson on the field or Patrick Mahomes, first of all, Deshaun Watson. On the field. I'm actually going to refrain from asking that question. I was going to ask what it's like in Chicago. Would it have been different? Houston. Oh, Kobe, my God. But I'm going to stay away Adam. from it. I'm going to abstain, um, even though I already asked it. He's... I oh think, my lord, brother! Okay. So first of all, Chiefs, got those in every city. So okay, the Chiefs are not the dynasty that they are. You, as a Chicago Bears fan, do not have Caleb. I don't think you have Keenan. I don't think where you are today, you obviously don't. If you have Patrick Mahomes, definitely not. No. The domino effect had you guys drafted you, Patrick Mahomes is wild for what it means for the NFL. Tom Brady might still be playing for all we know. <laughs> yeah, because he'd have one more Super he'd Bowl. He'd have another probably. Super Bowl. Maybe like he could have still fucking won. <laughs> yeah, there, the roast wouldn't have happened just now. It would have been next year, possibly. No like, one would know really how funny Nikki Glazer is. Giselle that I want to might marry have her. still they still might have been married. She might have not been fucking a karate coach. Would he have retired? He would have never retired the first time. No, I don't think he would have. Would retired. he ever gone to Tampa? Whoa. Because he could Tom Brady doesn't go to Tampa. Because he, he couldn't beat Mahomes in <sighs> New England. No, he actually totally no, no. He did. Yeah. He did. He yeah. did. That's up. Uh, nope. We were on to something now we're not. Yep. So What's it's the next Tom one? Br- Okay. All right. <laughs> That's a fun one though. That was a good one. Yeah, final, we, we almost had something. Yeah, final thoughts, Mitch Trubisky, Super Bowl winner. This is, congrats! This is the, wait, wait, think, congrats, Mitch! You won a Super Bowl. Uh, I think this is. I can already tell this is the lowest combined IQ pod we've ever had. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Because I'm an <laughs> idiot. Like no, yeah, same. You we like when we were filming with like at least Felipe Maton, no, smart guys, yeah, super right? Smart. Can talk the game. We usually have one dumb fuck, and it's me. But no, now we got I was, two. I'm in the dumb fuck category. You're not as dumb as me. You're not as dumb as him. You pretend you, but you give smart. Yeah, you give. You That's give smart. About this. I, I give that. dumb as shit, and no. I am dumb as shit. I, I give this. smart. I am dumb as shit. Bingo. Fair. Tycho, dumb, dumb all shit. around. Tycho is Tycho. All right, I got one for you. What, what, was, would the, what was the line we had? Hi, I Tycho. I, hi, I Tycho. Hi, my name's Tyler. People call me Tycho. No, I, I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay. The year is twenty twenty. What oh. happens if the Jets do not lose that final game? Or what happens if the Jets lose that final game? It's not End the final up, game. Was it, it was the second no, game? It was, it, was a ra- it was a random game was week second... 13 against the Rams. Anyway, just ask the question. Okay. The year's 2020. Mm-hmm. The Jets end up losing. Whatever that fucking game was, whatever week. Against they go the on, Rams. Against, against the, the Rams. Rams. They go on to draft Trevor Lawrence. Mm-hmm. What ends up happening? What does the NFL look like? The, well, Trevor Lawrence is mega bust. One of the True. biggest busts we've ever seen. Jets going Jets. Goes goes to a worse situation with the Jets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. Like he's still like the Jets are still ass because they have no talent around yeah, Zach yeah, yeah. Wilson, and so they would have no talent around Trevor Lawrence. Therefore, Zach Wilson going to the Jaguars probably still ass as well. But the Jaguars at least can move on from their quarterback and kind of be like, all right, we're in a place to rebuild more. If you're the Jets, you don't have Aaron Rodgers and any hope to go to the playoffs because you're like, ah, oh, maybe Trevor Lawrence still had, he still could have it in him, but he probably still asked with you because yeah. you never fucking gave him anything and he can't develop properly. And yeah, the, the, I don't know, they both where did the Jets draft Garrett Wilson? Do we know? Well, like, that was that was the following year, or two years. That was two years later. It was two, but I'm saying like, are they too oh, they good they to get exactly? They're, they're probably they're too just, good. They're just good enough because they are better with Trevor than Zach. They're just good enough to not get Garrett Wilson. They stay a So sad now they're franchise. stuck with Elijah Moore, wide receiver one. Dog. Yeah, well, he is on Puppy. the Browns, so dog. Um, that okay. was a smart play. I'm witty sometimes. Um, but you have Elijah Moore and. So basically, Trevor, well, that also just changed. It just changes everything because now. You don't have, M- you don't have NBA. Which, probably. Like. Oh, my God. You know what might end up happening? The San Francisco 49ers quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. Oh, that'd be sick. Because, um, again, then, wait, then the yeah. Jets don't need a quarterback. Green Bay, he was probably going to leave. 
He's from the Bay Area, right? No, he's not. He's from like three hours north. But he's from Northern okay. California. Went went to fucking went Cal. Went to Berkeley. Yep. Could Aaron Rodgers be the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers if the Jets happen to fucking win that game against no, the Rams? Because you would have had three no, Super Bowls. No, no. You would have won. He wouldn't go there because he wouldn't want to live in a liberal ass city like San Francisco. <laughs> Like fucking prick. Um, that's what he oh, would. He was like, I, I don't want to live I don't know, homeless Jim. folks. Um, you wouldn't. You don't think you would have gone for the rings? I think you could have gotten three Super Bowls. Uh, I think. I mean. Oh my God! Hold on. No, because well, they would have traded him last year. So would we have won the Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers instead of Brock Purdy? Maybe. The Dolphins don't have Jalen Waddle. The Dolphins also don't have Bradley Chubb. Because we traded with you, if the 49ers are not a top five pick, no, but we'd have we'd have Trey. So would we have even had Trey Lance? No, no, you would have had Aaron Rodgers, and then you no, would, well, no Aaron Rodgers. He got traded last year, brother. I know that, but I'm so, so you guys would you still have, have the Trey picks. Lance. Yeah, you're fucking right. Yeah. So it's really only one season we're talking about. Damn, essentially, yeah. That's no. Well, for the Aaron cool. Rodgers part, yeah, yeah. Like okay, anyway, Tre Trevor Lawrence mid. Trevor Bad Lawrence, quarterback. Trevor Lawrence becomes generational bust category. Now he's still teetering. But if he goes to New York, he, I think he goes into Jamarcus Russell category. They won a playoff yeah. game, right? The, the Jags, Jags, the Jags. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, because, came back from the Chargers. Well, because Costco, Costco worker Brandon Staley. I never. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 We also said Brandon Staley looks like a Costco worker who hands out samples. support. Yeah. Stamped. Yeah. That, Can that we was make a merch? Felipe move. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Felipe. Well, we're gonna have to, you know, oh, okay, okay. consult. It's on crazy that, because that had that. I never would have thought I would have said the Jags have a better system in place than the fucking Jets. I mean, but you got a super winning head coach, Doug. Peterson. I get that, but they like, had Urban Meyer. Oh, Zach Wilson goes to oh Urban my Meyer. Oh God! If Zach Wilson, Zach Wilson, Wilson if Urban Zach Meyer Wilson goes to Urban Meyer, we are seeing, we are seeing the worst fucking season any quarterback's does ever Urban had. Meyer, does Urban Meyer's collegiate success get fully diminished because of the one season he ends up having with Ur with Zach Wilson? Because it's far worse than what nah, he had with Trevor Lawrence. No, nah, because he still did a whole bunch. No, of that I, shit, I think but. I think Urban Meyer has shown he can work with. Horny little quarterbacks. Like I think, I think like huh? Zach Wilson, Tim Tebow wasn't a horny little quarterback. He was a man of God. Yeah, yep. yeah. Think about that. Mm. Non-horny. Trevor Lawrence, very religious. Couldn't work with. What him. else? I feel like we're missing a bunch of shit. What does the NFL look like? We're missing things in between these years. They definitely don't have Garrett Wilson. Well, actually, they might. They might because they'd still suck. But what I'm saying is like Trevor Lawrence is able to win a playoff game. But with, with but the system in New York is terrible. Yeah. Do you think Trevor yeah, Lawrence? Let me, let me pose, yeah. let me pose a question. Is, really is Trevor Lawrence doing more with that roster that Zach Wilson than Zach Wilson? Uh, winning more games, maybe. Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah. He's what absolutely doing more. Have? He has more. He has more talent. Yeah. What? But who they fucking have on that? But team? I don't think they make the play. They might have made the playoffs like last year potentially with with Trevor, right? Because the Jets are like sort of ish competitive. So we're assuming that the Jets have Brees Hall, Gary Wilson, all of them. Let's just I don't and I that don't defense. Even know. No, 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 just it's play. a lot to think about. If if the Jets they probably still have Brees. Okay, so regardless, yes, if Trevor Lawrence is on last year's and if last year's Jets team instead of Aaron Rodgers, even if you take away Garrett Wilson, yes, I think they I think they can make the playoffs because that defense was good enough. Yeah, the defense. Yeah, the is defense sick. is sick. Trevor Lawrence could win a quarterback or a, a Super Bowl carried by defense. But it's twenty twenty one. We might not even <laughs> that like that first year after that first year Trevor Lawrence drafted us to New York. Gets put into the Jamarcus Russell category, yeah, because I agree. of the supporting cast, because of how Zach Wilson performed, and because we haven't even seen Trevor Trevor Lawrence with a better system. Last year was fucking mid, so that's 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 how I end it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think you I think you are spot on with that. I don't like this next hypothetical scenario. What is it? Oh God! <sighs> Just say it. What would have happened if the Dolphins drafted Justin Herbert and yeah, not Super Bowl. to a tongue of Iloa? I'll say can it. I'll, can I say this? it? Can I say it? Can I be the one to say it? You guys have a Super Bowl. The Dolphins have the best offense on paper in the last decade. Correct. No. If you if yes. you just swap Justin Herbert, the biggest knock on the Dolphins offense is consistently Tua. Among regardless, not from a Dolphins the fan Niners perspective, would still have a better one. This I totally year disagree. On paper. I totally disagree. I, I think. Let me go bar for bar. I'm taking Herbert over Brock. Okay, so taking the CMC only over whoever's playing running back. You're taking Tyreek. I'm taking Tyreek. But you're probably taking Ayuk and Debo. I don't what, know. What, with OBJ no, 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 or third? No, Debo but, but, over Jalen Waddle. You, no, you have to look at the whole picture. No, but no. But, let's go one by one. Ayuk is not better than Waddle. Or no, sorry. Debo, is, better Debo, better Debo, Debo uh, is Debo your two? Yeah, Debo's better than Waddle. Okay, Waddell. but Tyreek is better than... Like, it's, it's one to one. 
I, I think right? so that OBJ takes in your wide receiver core. Okay, whatever. I understand what you're saying, but I think the Dol- if the Dolphins have Justin Herbert instead of Tua, as much as this pains me to fucking say, because I am praying for this man's downfall, the Dolphins have arguably the best offense on paper. Now, granted, I understand Mc- Mike McDaniel has catered this system around it. What Tua has is very unique. I manipulation, okay, anticipation. All those fucking things. Quick release. Quick release. All these it things. Sounds like, but, it sounds like you guys got to skill this quarterback over there. Yeah. Well, no, no. It's just not as sexy. Justin Herbert is Mashed has far potatoes more. potatoes upstairs. Yeah. Well, to, at that point, to his, maybe to his head is. <gasps> maybe to his head is okay and he becomes elite. Oh. Oh, but not for the Dolphins. Yeah. And Justin Herbert's bad. Because he's the one that gets sacked. Oh. 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 Fuck. So, so you guys are fucked you guys regardless. Suck. Fuck. The, wow, the Dolphins, so Dolphins suck. Dolphins consistently get ten <laughs> wins and don't do anything. No, but let's let's say let's say everyone stays healthy though. Like the your guys' offense is literally unstoppable. Yeah, it's the well we agree, it's the best yeah. offense. Yeah. It's the best offense in the NFL. Which Especially if you if you had Justin Herbert, I know because he doesn't necessarily get the ball out of, like as quick. He's no, more no, of a processor. No, two, two of them are vastly different. Yeah, but. he's more of a processor, but like Mike McDaniel can whip up an offense for Justin Herbert. I agree. Tyreek. I'm pretty Bro, sure you, you would have Justin that. Herbert, Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, OBJ, Jonu Smith, Raheem Moster, Devin A. Chan. Don't. Jonu Smith. No, he's a yak guy. What do you mean? Yak guy? No, not that tight you're, like, you're naming dogs, and he's like, Jonu, Jonu Smith. Smith. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Dan Smith, BYU. Like, that's what you just did. Bro. <laughs> John, Jonu Smith, don't roll that way, though. Yak guy. Don't fucking do this. The Dolphins have a loaded fucking offense. No, I know. Just John Smith. Smith is not like, like <laughs> I would have gone, gone Mozart about, and like, A chain moving above. from six to midnight. That moves from like six to six oh eight. <laughs> That's still moving. <laughs> That's right, still in, moving. In the right direction. You got too. flow. <laughs> it might be five fifteen, bro. Oh my god, god, god. That, <laughs> that makes me so. It's tucking in. That frustrates me. It's winter time me. in Chicago. Because I never would have thought. We always talk about Patrick Mahomes bombing it deep to fuck it, Tyree, fuck it, Tyree down there somewhere. Oh my god, Herbert. Herbert? Oh my Who god. throws it further? Justin Herbert, bro. Herbert throwing it seventy yards is like he's. He's thrown it from his own 10-yard line hilarious. down to the opposite There's 20. So dolphin shit Just here. like, oh. Are what? you sad now? No, fuck Justin Herbert. Okay. <laughs> fuck that pussy-ass bitch. Team. Yeah. Fuck that pussy-ass little Who, bitch. Who's he going to be throwing the ball to this year? Like, seriously? Like, Lad McConkey, wide receiver McConkey, one. And Joshua Palmer, Quentin Johnston. All right, I got I to go. Really with. quick, I'm a Joshua Palmer guy. And I'll I like stand Joshua on that. Yeah, he, on he that. had one good game, two good games, three mm. games, four. I'm a big Lad McConkey Also, Juwan Jennings. I got a good one. I got a good one. I got a good one. Okay. Like Tennessee guys, huh? I got, a good, I got a good hypothetical scenario They're for you guys. I got a good... Yeah. Listen to me, you fuck. What? Holy shit. If Drew Bledsoe never gets hurt in 2001, do we ever find out about Tom Brady? Absolutely. Before I answer your question, don't yell at me. Okay. Apologies. Yeah. Absolutely. Please. But yeah, no, we don't know who he is at all. Whoa. Are you kidding? Bro. No. Oh, oh, we my don't. God. If Drew Bledsoe never gets hurt, when is Best Tom Brady seeing all the time. fucking field? Best game manager of all time. Bro, it's like if Jimmy it's, G, if it, Jimmy it G and exactly Trey Lance Jimmy ever got G. hurt, oh my we God. Never, we're never going to see what Brock... No one's going to know who Brock Purdy is. I'm not saying Brock's Tom Brady, but it's a similar situation where it's like if you don't actually... Have, if, if Tom doesn't ever see the fucking field, he can sit as a backup for five years, and then you know what teams are going to sign him as after that? A backup. Okay, hear He's me out. He's be a backup for the rest of his hear entire career. Hear Even me if out. he is... Like Drew Bledsoe got hurt a few times, correct? Because he came back. It's it would be the Jimmy. G it happens two thousand two. He gets hurt. Now Brady comes in. Like what? it's 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 the Jimmy G situation where if you sit in that offense, you come and you perform. They say, oh shit, this is the guy that the Patriots trusted. It's the Belichick way. This guy has obviously been groomed correctly. He went to Michigan, Big Ten school, great football program. This guy has the raw talent that we we have to give him a chance. It is the exact situation that we had with Jimmy G. Now, did Jimmy G perform outside of going undefeated as a starter for the Patriots after like four games? No. Yes. yes. He didn't. No, he got made to the Super Bowl. He made two yeah. Super Bowl. He a Niners team that was absolute ass. He came in, was five and zero with them to end the season. Okay, fair. Were so, they ass? They were really bad. Dude, they, when you lost okay, to the but Chiefs, any, but anyway, I no, think, no, the for the year we traded for Jimmy G. Oh, it was oh, a really oh, bad oh, team. Okay, okay. I think, and then t- the following year you went to the Super Bowl. Uh, two years after. Oh, okay. I think Tom Brady could have a very similar career to Jimmy G, but we all know Jimmy G. And, like, Jimmy G got the contract. I think Tom Brady – I'm not saying Tom Brady would have had the exact same situation because no, I think he's better than Jimmy G. However, I think the thing is, though, is, like, Tom was draft – like, he was a good – a very good college player. But he was drafted in the last round of the draft for a reason. They didn't think he was going to translate to the pros, right? So, like, if you have him sitting behind Drew Bledsoe for four or five years – Do we not all rookie, know who Brock Purdy is? We, we, Wait, know, we, know, we know who Brock is now – 
We didn't know he was in college. No one knew the fuck he was I, in college. Dude, that's crazy. You're, yeah, but you're a college football guy. You're a college football guy. So so am I, but like no one I was never like, oh my god, this Brock Purdy. You were like when you special. got him to Mr. Relevant, you were like, oh my god, we got fucking a steal and Brock Purdy. No, I was like, okay, yeah, he was solid. At I think State. personally, like, because I and I stand by this, it was always Brady, it was never Belichick. Brady set that tone. It was the Brady way, not the Patriot way. And at some point, whether it would have happened in New England, maybe he doesn't have seven Super Bowls, but at some point he gets a chance to prove that this Brady way works somewhere. Because again, if he doesn't play that first year, he was a late pick. He might get cut. We never know. So at that point, I think Brady goes somewhere else. Doesn't have as many Super Bowls. Maybe is Joe Montana, but he ain't Tom Brady. And Joe Montana is still one of the best quarterbacks of all time. I don't think you know about Tom Brady the way we know about Tom Brady if Drew Bledsoe doesn't get hurt. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I'm dead serious. Like, and I don't think it's a crazy thing to say that if Drew Bledsoe stays healthy his whole career, the Patriots would just keep Tom as a backup. They see his fire. They like him. It's like, you know, but you're, you're still our backup. Drew's our guy. And then because they didn't draft Brady no, as know. Drew's replacement. So Tom Brady remains a backup quarterback or a bridge quarterback his entire career. Wait a second. Hold on. If, I think, Bledsoe, I think he, if Drew I Bledsoe think, stays healthy, if goes Drew, on to win Super Bowls. Bro, I'm saying if Drew he's a goat. he doesn't go on to win Super Bowls, first of all, because he's not even close to as talented as Tom. Tom so Tom it was here though. Tom wasn't talent. Tom was in the brain. In the yeah, sport. but Drew didn't have that. Like whatever. Um I'm I'm saying like I, I think, think the career arc like a, the career arc or whatever for Tom Brady would be like Gardner Minshew now or like a Ryan Fitzpatrick type of deal. A journeyman. Drew Bledsoe never gets there. A journeyman, bridge quarterback. That's not a bad career. It's not a bad career. We but all know his name. We all know Tyrod Taylor's name. Yeah. Who's a journeyman. That's that's what Tom Brady's career would look like if Drew Bledsoe never got Except hurt. Except we because also no one would ever give him an actual opportunity. Here's 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 who it is. It's Nick Foles. He goes and wins the quarter. He goes and wins oh, the Super Bowl. Oh, at some point. He goes and wins the Super Bowl at some point in one of these journeys. Not as big of a no, penis. But I, I feel like Right? Not as big of a penis. Dude, I almost I almost feel like he's like it's hard to say because I don't think he would really ever get the opportunity. He'd just be like a career backup the whole time. And then one team he never he did first of all, first of all, never ends up fucking marrying Giselle. That's oh, what they have. Oh, no, not. absolutely not. Tom Brady's career he looks he vastly different off the he, does, he doesn't get the ego and all the plastic surgery to oh, look really good. My, oh my God. God. So he remains ugly. He remains ugly. Mm. Wow. Yep. Still kisses his kids though. Because that's like, you know. Oh, you think he does? You think I he think even has kids as a backup? Oh, yeah, he's still an NFL quarterback, regardless. It's a good point. Backup, no, still marries someone. Good point. Asterix, backup. It's a good um, point. Drew Locke is a backup quarterback, and his yeah, but he has wife swag. is insane. But, no, but think about Tom Brady. Tom Brady's the most boring guy ever, like, at the end of the day. Okay, dude, like, how you know Aiden O'Connell? Yeah. How's his wife? He's a sweetheart. You're going to make me shit talk? Yep. <laughs> My no, fucking, I'm saying, is she what hot? The is fuck? she hot? Yes. Trying to prove a point. Yeah, she's hot. Bingo. Exactly. Aiden O'Connell, sorry. On the outside, boring guy, backup quarterback, hot wife. He's a Tom Brady would still have a hot wife. Also, yeah, not going to say it anymore. Was going to say it, but um, no, you can say it. No, just say what, no, just say it. Say it. If I'm judging someone at face value, and it's solely because of the mustache, oh, you're either a pedophile or racist. Yeah. Oh, I said he looks like a racist cop, Aiden O'Connell. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll let him know you said that. No, oh, dude. I, yeah. Again, I don't know him. Could be a very nice gentleman. I cannot wait for you guys to meet him. So no, that's gonna be hilarious. And we're gonna bring up he will Get be on the, the show. Pod? He will be the first starter you guys have on the show. Starting, Guaranteed. he's a backup. Starting, no, he's not. He's literally the starting quarterback. I, right? Are you I, saying the first starting, no, the, the quarterback, starting quarterback, quarterback you would have ever had? Tep jar came out yesterday. He was second string. He's literally on every single graphic as starting quarterback since draft night. The uh, depth chart came out yesterday. All right, all right, all right, all right. Insert clip. I got another one. I got another one. All right, all right. <laughs> I get this is my last hypothetical scenario. Oh shit. All right. Strap in. This is gonna be a full one. Okay, thank you. You're the head coach and you're on the hot seat. <laughs> Ready? You're the head coach, you're on the oh, hot this seat. One's good. You're the head coach and you're on the hot seat. Per your GM, you have one season to win the championship or you're fired. You have to choose one of these quarterbacks. Justin what? Herbert. Sorry, what team am I on? Like what No, team? no, no, that's not it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay? Okay. You're on the you're a head coach, you're on the hot seat. Your GM says you have one fucking season to win a championship, to win a Super Bowl, or you're gonna get fired. You have to choose between one of these quarterbacks. You have to choose between one quarterback. You have to choose one quarterback. There Sorry, you go, champ. That got out. Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson. Who are you choosing and why? Um, I'm not t- taking Justin Herbert. Not a track record of winning in the playoffs. Um, not a track record of leading his team or being. I'm not fucking. Okay, I'm not I'll, taking Herbert. I'm going to start by saying I'm um, not taking Lamar. I'm not taking Josh I, Allen. Can we go one by one? 
Like, I, no, 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 no. I, my, my issue with Lamar is you have to rebuild your entire offense. You have yeah, one year to yeah, do that's it. That's my fear. That's my yeah, fear. It's, you have to have a very specific offense for Lamar. Yeah. Um, I think Lamar might be the most talented quarterback on this list. Like, talented but has, but in has, everything. But does Lamar overall. even prove that he can win the playoffs? No. No, because he, no. Josh Allen, we haven't really saw you yet, but we talked to Jordan Poyer <sighs> off camera uh, about Josh Allen. At this point, no, by the time this episode and comes his inability, out, yeah. it's probably out. Yeah, and his inability to play in big moments. Fair. Kind of shit sounds like a little bit. I mean, I also know who you were going to choose in this argument, bro. It's you're, obviously you're, you're, Joe fucking Burrow. You're picking Joe Burrow out of these four. Why? He is the only one that's been to a Super Bowl out of those three. And he's also the four. only one that came into arguably the best supporting cast of the four. Okay, so you know exactly what to Wait, build off. Also, of. what was the stat you guys mentioned like two episodes ago when it was if you go to a court, if you go to a Super Bowl and you lose, you don't ever go back? Like yeah. I need to win one. Oh, that's so a good like point. Joe Burrow is off my list. That's period. such that's a good the, fucking that's point. Like, like, that's so that's good. The stat, then right, that's that, fair. That's your stat that you shared with me or yeah. shared with everyone. Um, um, I'm out on Joe Burrow is not my guy. For I'm that taking reason. Josh Allen. Okay, I'm why? not. I think as a quarterback, he has enough standalone talent. I get a mix of Lamar Jackson, right? I get his rushing ability. Mm -hmm. I get a guy that can throw it deep. A guy that can take over if need be. Like I don't, I don't take that with Justin Herbert. Joe Burrow is not a mobile quarterback. And Lamar yes, Jackson he is. Joe Burrow is not compared to Josh he's Allen. He's not Josh Allen mobile. That, that's but he's my mobile. point. He that's run. my point. I'm taking he Josh Allen's mobility. I'm run. taking Josh Allen's mobility. Yeah, I'll no take question. Joe Burrow's arm over Josh Allen's Josh arm. Josh Allen has a better arm than Joe Burrow. What the fuck? No. What? Josh Allen's he's not a better. Fuck? He's not a better thrower than Joe Burrow. He is a Josh Allen is a Josh better Allen thrower than football. If you want to talk Josh about Josh Allen the, has a rocket arm, but he's that's not what a we're better saying. passer. You didn't just say accuracy, dude. I'm saying a better passer. That's what I say. Arm. What? Okay, so Sorry, define I, passer. I, I, I define the, passer. A better pa Joe Burrow is more accurate. He can make better throws. Don't don't. I agree with the accuracy. I don't know about better throws necessarily. Josh Allen's going off script. The, like the arm talent of Josh Allen is better than Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow might be more accurate. Joe, 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 Joe Burrow doesn't make stupid ass fucking interceptions. He, he never has those stupid ass like that's an head scratching dumb fucking that's an arguable. stupid yeah, that's an fucking. Picks. I'm, I'm taking Josh Allen. I think Josh he can Allen carry does it all the time. Bro. I think out of the, these four, Josh Allen could carry enough with a lesser team. I don't think Joe Burrow can. I don't think Lamar can. And I don't think Justin Herbert can, so I'm going to take Josh Allen of these four quarterbacks. We're going to go win a Super Bowl, and I ain't getting fired. I'm I'm taking Justin Herbert. I'm going to. Oh, what? That's yeah, that's a no, bro. It's, it's not that. that. that no, but let me explain. He literally has the best of everyone. Okay. By the way, by, hold on, second, hold on, hold on. Can I? May I? Please yeah. interject. Outside of Joe Burrow, he's had the best supporting cast of all four of these quarterbacks. And what the fuck has he done? I mean, wait, wait you can't say fuck that when all. they literally redesigned the entire Ravens offense so it could work for Lamar. Lamar's had the best situation that no. you can put in. No, I do not agree. I'm, not, talk, I'm not talking about talent around him. I'm talking about the fact that they literally rebuilt a system so that he could be a success in the NFL. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's benefit. He, like, That's what individual, you're supposed to do for your quarterback. Individ from an individual do. standpoint, yes, Lamar Jackson, he went out and won a fucking MVP with Greg Roman. Where did it fucking get them? I mean, they were, what, the... Three seed last year. Well, th this whole offense is completely different. This is more of a Todd Munkin. It's an offense that Justin Herbert could provide success with. Joe Burrow could probably provide success with. L Lamar was not a good passer when it mattered. They didn't pass the ball in the playoffs. That's why they lost. No, they actually passed the ball too much. They no, stopped. They didn't running. run the ball. Yeah. Oh, oh, that they was the, the issue. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Lamar's a running back. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna digress. I think Justin Herbert is the second most athletic on the list. I think he's probably has. He's the second wait, strongest. Wait, wait, second most athletic. Athletic. Numbers by Lamar's the Lamar's the most athletic. Lamar's once I'm saying Josh Allen's jo more athletic than Justin Herbert. Josh Allen's much more athletic. What, than what are we Herbert. fucking doing? I don't think he is. What the fuck is it's happening? It's okay if you say he's more athletic than Joe Burrow. He's definitely more athletic than Joe Burrow. Yeah, 100%. bro. Josh Allen's I, Josh Allen's way more athletic. Than okay, Joe fine. Ever. He's the third most athletic quarterback. He has the second strongest arm. Okay, I think he's the second. He actually, might have. He might be the second. Arm. He might have the strongest arm. Him and he might have the strongest arm. Doesn't I matter. think he's the second smartest quarterback on this list behind Joe Burrow. Oh no, no, no! You you cannot you cannot be mad at a yeah, guy. Actually, for I take it back. I take it back. Yep, I remember. You cannot be mad at a guy. He's either second yeah. or third. Like honestly, Josh Allen's the dumbest quarterback on this list. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I think Joe. You can't win a Super Bowl. But what I'm saying, plays fucking stupid out of his yeah, ass. Yeah, no, I agree. You I agree can't. with that. I agree. With that. I, I think Josh Allen, or Justin Herbert out of these four guys that I have to go. You think he's not the worst at anything? Okay, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. He's the guy that I can figure it out around. Okay, I know what your answer is going to be, but I'm I'm going to improve this scenario is that you put all these quarterbacks in exactly the team that Joe Burrow went to the Super Bowl with. Mm -hmm. Who's winning? I think it's Josh Allen. I don't think sure. it's Josh. I think I, I think, I think, I think if, you're, if you're giving them that team, it's Lamar. Oh, interesting. Because Lamar doesn't need the line to block for him that much. He can just go out oh, of the yeah, pocket and run. But so could Josh. So could Josh. Yeah. So could Josh, but Lamar's way more dynamic runner. We yeah, but never, I'm not, I'm not even, Let me talk. Thank you. 
Sometimes you gotta get louder. This is way funnier being on this you, side. All right. What I wanted to say is we've never seen Lamar actually have like two stud receivers. We've seen Josh Allen have like a Stephon Diggs, right? Mm -hmm. We've never seen Lamar. If Lamar had Jamar, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd to throw the ball to Fair. with the off strip running ability, then Lamar's your guy. And Joe Mixon. Lamar is, was and Joe Mixon to help. Lamar easily, if you have that Bengals offense, is your quarterback. Like so easily. I can't argue with point. that. Yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, Lamar's still like the MVP, guys. Like, I Lamar might be the best. Lamar's the most. Is he the best outside of Mahomes? Outside of Patrick Mahomes, Lamar's the most talented quarterback in the league. I don't think it's close. I like that. That's that's a good take. But there's it also like it depends on like the offense you run because like I it just I don't so know. we're putting him on the Bengals. I, I, I mean, if we're taking yeah. these four quarterbacks, yeah. Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, we all agree Lamar Jackson's probably the most talented. Of the four? Yes, but I think winning the, the Super Bowl is a different Just raw. pure talent. Not, raw, not, not raw even success. Talent, yeah. Not even success. Just pure talent. Pure yeah. talent. Yes. yes. Yeah. But we saw last year, like, Lamar couldn't get it done with his arm against the Chiefs. He's Joe not Burrow has beaten Patrick Mahomes three times. So has the team. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, you, I, I, you're, you're, the, you're no, always no, no. going to talk against Joe Burrow. Because for me, I think we like, Joe Burrow has outdueled Patrick Mahomes. What He's is played the better number? than Patrick Josh, Mahomes. Josh, Jack, whatever the fuck your name is. What is the number one thing or the number one reason you say Joe Burrow is better than Josh Allen? Why? Because he's been to a Super Bowl. And during and, that Super and, Bowl, and, and, and shut the throw. fuck up. During this that is the Super Bowl run. To make me shut up, by the during way. that fucking Super Bowl run, the defense in the fourth quarter outscored Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow did not go and get it. That defense went and got went and got it. Dude, now that, I understand. That's 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 like stat watching. Like you, if you actually watch the games and like the big plays that Joe Burrow made in the fourth quarter on third downs and all this. I'm not, fourth I'm not, downs, I'm not saying Joe Burrow didn't make plays. I'm just saying like you're talk that we talk about the fucking run, and yet one of the biggest reasons the run happened was the team around him. That's not necessarily to discredit Joe Burrow, but let's just look at the fucking facts. The defense played out of their fucking mind. All right. Lou is one of the best DCs in the NFL. Yeah, all right. Let me let me bring this back for a little bit. Um so, if you could pick any quarterback in NFL history to lead your team in the fourth quarter to win a Super Bowl, it's probably Tom Brady, right? It yes. might and be he had some, Mahomes. And he had some of the best defenses. <laughs> it, might be it might be Mahomes. It might be but Mahomes. But it, it's probably Tom Brady right now. Did you see what he did in the Super Bowl? It's either, but Mahomes. it's Brady or Mahomes. I get it. Yeah, okay. It's, fine. One it's, two, it's 1A, 1B. Sure. Let me talk. And Tom Brady had some of the best defenses we've ever seen every Super Bowl run. Oh, so, like, a winning point. a Super Bowl is not just about your fucking offense and your quarterback. Obviously, defense has a factor. I agree with you, but we're talking one-to-one. -one. We're talking a quarterback. Who is better, a quarterback or Bro, a this quarterback? No, who compares a quarterback to his own defense? That is a weird, that is a, that's a weird fucking thing to do. No one's ever done that in history until you're trying to do it with Joe Burrow. I'm not and his doing defense. that. You, like, I asked you. That's what, just a weird. I asked thing. you what the number one fucking reason is. You're gonna say that he is definitely better than Josh Allen. You said the Super Bowl, and it's I'm saying that, that's part no, of the it's fucking not just run. That. Okay, it's well that fact, was your answer. It's the fact that Joe Burrow doesn't turn the ball over and head scratching dumbass get, stupid fucking ways. That I ways. cannot refute. That's it. You want to say I, that? That's that's the one reason I can't stand Josh Allen. It's because he makes plays that make me say, "What the fuck are you doing, you stupid motherfucker?" But it's also those plays when he's like, when he's like, "No, no, 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 no." Yes, 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 yes. He does it all the time. And Joe Burrow he throws the ball like, "Oh." Good By pass. the way, what was yeah. the game last year that Joe Burrow just fucking threw like two four, INTs, four, four interceptions, interceptions, like right half? at the end of the game? No, there was oh. and he threw away the game. Uh, there was a game he had one of those. Was it? Well, he was hurt like the whole year. I just also think Josh Allen's sample size. So the sample size of Josh Allen is a lot larger, and therefore we have a lot more to point at. I'm very curious what this year is going to look like, especially if Joe Burrow can stay healthy. But at the end of the day, when it comes to these four, I don't know how you don't take if if the if the barometer of it or the baseline is that that Bengals team. I agree. I think Why does it's it have to be the Bengals. Well, no, I'm just saying because that that's a team we can point to. Who's Joe, who's, who's the most? All right, Steelers. Bears. Okay, fine, Steelers. Like the most Mike average Tomlin. team. I like that. Who's the most average team in football that you can think of? Just right middle of the pack. Okay, fine. It is. It's Josh Allen. I've changed my answer. It, it's Josh Allen. Is the guy I'm picking? I'm taking Josh Allen. I'll still take. It depends on the team. I'll take. You Joe just or, said the team. Is it the Steelers? Steelers? It's the Steelers. Yeah. If we have that Steelers team, I will take. It's still probably Joe, dude. There's like, no fucking I love way. Joe. There's, no There's no fucking way. There's no I chance. I think Joe's better than Josh. That's literally. I feel like Joe Burrow. This is a. This is put this on a quote card. Uh, Joe Burrow is literally Ben Roethlisberger. Like that's all. That, that's okay, all he is. That's pretty damn. That's all he is. What? Without the rape Couple allegation. Yeah. 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 Shout out! Shout out! Uh, Miami, Ohio. Um, <laughs> Anyway. After he calls out the art, that's crazy. Um, if he's Ben Roethlisberger, then he's a Super Bowl. If winner. he's Ben Roethlisberger, that's pretty damn good though. That's yeah, but he but part. he did the thing with the stats, so he'll never win one. So he's fucked. All oh, right, let's move good on. Point. Good okay, point. Okay, sorry. All right, let's move on. Um, what else do we have? Do you want to do the Brock shit? 
You want to talk Brock? Oh, geez. More Brock. quarterback talk? I could talk Brock. Um, So there's this like quote that Doug Gottlieb, if you guys remember. Who the, the fuck is Doug yeah, Gottlieb? Are you serious? I saw that name. Who is that? That's crazy. You guys he remember sounds, him? sounds familiar. He was, I don't know. he was an old ESPN analyst like, okay. back in the day. I, I'm a face Like guy. when SportsCenter was like sick. Okay. Back when SportsCenter was, like, was actually good. Let me look uh, so Doug Gottlieb. Uh, there's like a for some reason it's, there's a quote that he had that's going around Niners Twitter a lot right now. I think we're just like need something to get mad. Oh, about, I've seen this which guy. I've seen this is guy. Pretty, you know, on par for the Niners fans. Yeah. I've um, seen. I've seen this. But guy it was sure. basically Doug Gottlieb saying that there are 15 quarterbacks that could replace Brock Purdy in that Niners system and have just as much success. Yeah, that's crazy. Just as much success, and I think that's fucking yeah outlandishly stupid. Take. I, yeah, I think it's crazy. I just think it's more like 20. That you're just trying to get me mad. You're just trying to get me angry. <laughs> Thank you for going that way because I was also gonna do. I that. know exactly how you play. You fucking hate him. I don't hate him, but let's let's just do the top ten so we can get all the way through. Are we we're ranking? No, there are not like, fifteen. Are all, I don't think there are fifteen quarterbacks that can do. Can Brock I pull Purdy's every job. starter and can we just read them off and just yes or no? There are yes. not, but like here here's the thing though. It's like oh, we're gonna do this quarterback or Brock Purdy, whatever. Fuck you. Um, no, yeah, we're just inserting. Here's yeah. the thing: is like people are so quick to talk about Brock Purdy. And be like, you know, like anyone could play well in the system. It's so obvious. Like you, you could just literally plug and play, put anyone there. It's fucking bullshit. All right? I agree with that as, a, two, thing, as like, a two a stand. I like, agree with that. Like Trey Lance looked like fucking ass in the system. Sam Darnold, when he started last year, everyone said Sam Darnold could probably just go as Brock. He came in and he looked like ass against the Rams. Yeah, didn't you only have the didn't you only have... Hold on. Let me keep going. I'm on a roll. Like you have, you looked at like Nick fucking Mullins with the Niners was not good. CJ Beathard sucked. Brian Hoyer was terrible. Jimmy G is not doing the things that Brock did. So it's like, yeah, let's compare these other guys in the same fucking system to Brock Purdy. None of them ever did anything close. So you can't just put in anybody. I, I agree you cannot just put in anybody. I hate that notion. It's the same thing I've said. I don't even think you could put Justin Herbert in this exact system with the Dolphins. They would have to be tailor-made to him mm -hmm. as well. Then he would perform. However, to say 15 is crazy because I agree. I think for me, when I look at like pure quarterbacks... There are probably, and it doesn't make you a hater of Brock Purdy, there are probably 10 quarterbacks that you would take to put exactly in this same system regardless of the cap. All right, well, let's let's do it. Run, but I also want to talk it. about the fact that, like, this is also the – I don't think it's necessarily the stats. This is, like, raw talent, too. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's not I a think there's something – exactly. It's not a yeah. If you've watched Brock's tape, he's – very do you talented. want to start from the top and the bottom of the list? Because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. If you would have said with Brady, like Brady's, it was never the talent. He became Brady because of what he had in between the eyes. Would you like to the start that too? Would you like He's to start from the top? Start from the top. Start from the top. Okay. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. No, no. Let's just go one by one. Obviously, you're taking. Let's just gonna go. I think we could name ten quarterbacks that you could take over Brock. Brady. I don't think you could. Okay. Patrick that Mahomes. I would take. Can I, will you be objective? Yes, I'll be objective. Okay. Patrick Mahomes. I'll try. Uh, yes. Josh Allen. Don't. Sure. Joe Burrow. Yeah. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Justin Herbert. No. Really? I don't. I would. You not. don't think Justin Herbert could perform in this 49ers offense? I dude, I just don't think his game translates the same. I don't know. I also fuck Keep Chargers moving. fans. Keep Char moving. Chargers fans came for me so hard yeah, like a week two ago. Fuck y'all. I'm not picking Herbert. Fuck you. Not, fuck but your you just said you'd be objective. No, not with that. Okay. Fuck you and right. fuck your quarterback. No, no Herbert. It's fine. Keep going. We'd both take Herbert though. I would take Herbert. Okay. Yeah. Even as a golf. Not over Brock Purdy. I'm just saying no, he I would could be just as productive. No, no. I, <laughs> no, I, I, under, I understand Herbert. what you guys are saying, but this is strictly targeted at the okay. Chargers fans that were okay. at my neck calling me a fucking fat, lard, fuck, stupid cup. Okay, we got five. CJ Stroud. You. you only got four right now. Correct. CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud? Yes. Yes. Okay. He, Jordan Love. Don't. No. Jordan Love's not as good as Brock that's, Purdy. Okay, that's Jaylen fine. Jalen Hurts. No. All right, this is the, um, this is bio's list. <laughs> okay, oh, it's wait, not. I gotta, I gotta this, go. Some, hold on, my hold on. I gotta go somewhere. Kirk Cousins. Yeah. See, I knew we get. I knew we get one on the board for that. The backup quarterback for the Falcons. We're taking. <laughs> 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 Why am I blanking out? Top well, ten quarterback. Like, like, sorry, sorry. I, I don't think Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback. Tua. Like, Tua would probably do very similarly, actually. But I don't think he'd do better than Brock. But I think he'd do similarly. It's very sweet of you, though. So but is that would, a Brock? Brock is a better quarterback than Tua. That's fine. I don't agree with that, but sure. You don't agree with that? No, I don't. Oh my really? god. Yeah, I think he Tua has better, more talent for sure. Oh, I don't agree. Oh, is that Stafford. seven? Is that seven? So, yeah, I would oh, take Stafford. Oh yeah, I would take Stafford. Fuck Goff. No. That's an interesting one. I love Jared Goff. Oh, He's not good. good. So we're um, at eight right now. Oh, this is a fun one. Deshaun Watson on the field. No, not Texans anymore. Texans to Sean. Texans to Sean. Well, yeah, but we're talking about now to Sean. No, no, no. Now to Sean. That's the only memory of Deshaun Watson I have. So just Texans to Sean. Nope. I'm not doing this. You it, know fucking we're all. Ha, we're talking okay. about Deshaun right now. I'm Aaron not Rogers. taking Deshaun. Aaron Rodgers. No. 
Oh, dude. brother. Dude, he's 40. I don't, I don't care. Give a 42. Flying. He's 42 fuck. years old coming off he's a probably fucking a, Achilles, I don't brother. Give top five quarterback. And he was just took Kirk Cousins. Dude, oh, good point. Not Kirk then. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Take Kirk off. Baker Mayfield. Uh, no. no, I'll take Brock. I'll take Brock. Who are we missing? No fun. Ross, no. I feel like we're missing <laughs> some guys. Ross. Justin Aiden, Fields. Aiden Justin Fields. The kick returner. The kick, oh, the kick returner. By no. the way, Justin Fields is hooping in this offense, too. Yeah. Yeah, he would. He would, but he's not. Because think about it, the thing with Justin Fields, he just holds the ball. If you told him, like, no, you have to throw it here and understand I don't the think play. I don't think he's a good enough All right. passer. I, I, I appreciate you. There are definitely 10 quarterbacks you would take over Brock Purdy. However, we cannot undersell what Brock's done in this offense. And I think the unfortunate part about People, every sort of argument that we have also is that we want to see it for two years, right? We had Bryce Butler on, and Bryce was like, I don't want to inflate how I feel because of a one year sample size. Now, granted, he had a one, he's like one and a half. He, really? He's, he's one and some change. If Brock Purdy goes out this year, puts up the same exact fucking numbers, this dude definitively has to be a top eight quarterback. Okay, but. I like that. Why, so why are we saying that he has to do that this year, but we're already saying that C.J. Stroud and Jordan Love I, I didn't. are in that? I didn't. No, I'm saying a lot of a lot of people are doing that already There's, when they have let – like Brock no. Purdy has better stats than C.J. Stroud and Jordan Love in the, this one year that they all we're played. Because we're at the moment. We're and awesome. he has even more on top. He has, what, six or whatever games on top of that too where he played incredibly well. But it, and people don't want to give him the credit. It's insane. Because he's surrounded by Christian McCaffrey, arguably the best running back of the generation. Sorry that our the GM best. did his fucking job. No, you can't get upset, though. Like, I'm telling you why people are like this. I'm telling you why people are saying this. CJ Stroud went to the Texans know, with Nico Collins and Tank Dell. And, and, now, and, now, the fuck and out. now that they have Stephon Diggs, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Joe Mixon, when CJ Stroud does really well this year, inevitably, we're going to consider him a top five quarterback. I think there's two ways you got to look about look at how you rank your quarterbacks. The first would be, are you taking this quarterback in your exact system as a fan, right? And so for me, when it comes down to the Dolphins, yeah, I've said that there's that's like how I'm going to start making my really rankings. Have. Like I would probably put Jordan Love and CJ Stroud in there just because in that one-year sample size, they've shown more. So therefore, I would probably put them in my top 10. But then on the other side, it's like body of work and what you've done. And that if you're factoring all that in, then no, CJ Shot and Jordan Love do not even deserve to touch or sniff that top 10. No. Brock has a larger sample size, but unfortunately, the same way we need it with anyone, I need a two-year baseline. And if Brock Purdy goes out this year and puts up the same exact type of shit, then yeah, I think you'll have a lot more believers. Dude, Brock, I'm not saying Brock us, Brock Purdy in his first two years in the league made an NFC championship game and made a Super Bowl. And he, had a, no and he was up for the MVP that, brother. No one is year. disputing that, brother. But you have to understand, saying. like, the reason that these narratives are going to come is because of the fucking town around him. No, I get why they're there. I oh, get why they're there. God. It makes sense. It's just annoying. We got a wrap, man. We've been going off yeah, for a long Yeah, my alarm just time. went off. Yeah, we're, we're going for a long fucking time. <sighs> well. Can I, can I leave you with some parting words? Yeah, okay. By the way, you, you good, bro? No, I just hate when... I just hate... We, we, I thought wrong. that was productive, yeah, by well, the way. I don't think that there was hatred in there. I don't think that we got... Oh, there was no product productivity there. You well, don't agree? No, for me personally, it didn't change tonight. my mind. No, it's not going to change your mind, but we yeah. got to have the... Let's have the fucking conversation. Yeah, I just... You know how I'm always... All right, we end every episode, obviously, with parting words from whoever's on. Uh, Tycho, leave us with some parting words. I think that kickers are drafted too low in the NFL draft. I think that we should start drafting kickers more. Um, I personally feel like totally I'm a victim agree. to bad kickers. Yeah. And... um. I just want to throw it out there. I, I think we should start to value the kickers more often. I actually, good take. Thank you. Like what was take. the Robert Aguayo? Aguayo Roberto Aguayo. Roberto Aguayo. Yeah, that yeah. worked Best out Best college well. kicker ever. Yeah, and okay, the worst. Mean, yeah. Sebastian Janikowski, though. Anywho, anywho. Hey, we'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.